Okay, just to make sure that you've got everything in the correct position, I'm just going to give you the um, the numbers, the translations, rotations, and scales of everything. So for the side panel, we've got the translation translate x of minus five point three nine four. On the translate y, we've got minus two point two six five. Translate z is minus 12, rotate x is 90, rotate y 0, rotate z 0, scale x 24, scale y 1 and scale z 24 and that's called the side view. Front view we've got translate x negative 12, translate y negative 2.265, translate z is negative 0 0.017, rotate x is 90, rotate y is 90, rotate z is 0, scale x is 24, scale y is 21, scale z is 24. On the other side view, we've got translate x as negative 4.92, translate y, negative 2.265, translate z is 12, rotate x is 90, rotate y is 180, rotate z is 0, scale x is 24, scale y is 180, and scale z is 24. For the top view, we've got translate x as negative 4.848 and translate y negative 11.902 translate z 3.742 rotate x is 0 rotate y is 0 rotate z is 0 scale x 24 scale y 1 scale z 24 okay if that's all set up actually I'm going to copy this file into our folder um, so you could take it straight in there just in case just I want to make sure that everybody's set up exactly the same um, right okay now something I want to show you quickly um, is this becomes a problem with the image planes because you can't see through it to see your model you've got to keep pushing and going through it so there's a little trick we can use which is called backface culling. If you make it so that the planes are editable and click on all three of the planes and now go to display down to polygon and turn on backface culling. Now instantly you can see this front one's been removed but if I move around you can see it returns again. So it basically culls whatever's in front turns it off so you can view so this is much easier for when you're modeling the side of the gun then you move to the front view then you move to the side view and if you zoom in and out it's not going to make a difference because the thing's cold so that's a handy little tip for you there so save that file out and as I said I'll put this um, this file straight into the into our into our folder on the website that you looked at in the last lesson Okay, see you in the next lesson where we'll start playing around with the tools that you're going to be using.